This morning when I turned my radio on to go flying, I got this message, battery warning, RTC battery low, press any key. Is this anything to be particularly distressed about? Oh my word, I'm going to have to find a service centre or it's going to be a really expensive repair. Well, not at all. And I'm going to show you in this quick tip how we can change the battery over. Just to get you going, disabled. 80% battery remaining. the RTC, the real-time clock, is what sets the date and time for the radio. We can check things if we long press the menu button and then page across till we see the hardware section and then we've got to go right to the bottom so if we press page up we can see that it's set to check the RTC battery voltage and currently it's at 1.98 volts now it's a 3 volt lithium cell so that is why it is complaining perhaps you're not familiar with this particular screen on the hardware screen but it's very useful for obviously calibrating the main battery in here and I've got a LIFE cell in here so it's reading 10.12 volts we know then that the battery needs to be changed I'll show you in the next section how to get the radio apart and the simple procedure for swapping the battery over before we start the battery that you're going to need or more accurately the cell you're going to need is a CR1220 uh, for those of you who are interested in such things 12 is the diameter and 20 is in fact 2.0 which is the height of the cell in millimeters yes I am a sad individual when you get a battery cell like this always good to check the expiry date here we have 06 2024 you shouldn't really accept any cell which is less than a few years to its expiry date in addition to which you will need a screwdriver of some sorts and probably a pair of pointy nose pliers first thing to do when working on any equipment will be to remove the main battery power source and in my case to remove this multi-protocol module there now as, as well as the four screws there are two more up by the handle with all six screws removed now we should be able to gently open the back and take care because there are these ribbon cables which attach the display we don't want to disturb those but they are sufficiently long for you to be able to fold the bottom out you can see that the two switches here are now quite loose it may be that they would drop out just then for the avoidance of doubt if we mark with a dot each of those then we'll know that that is the way up that they should go the battery holder has a little bar on it on this side you can just see it and with a non-metallic in this case a little spudger type tool if you just push on that then the cell will pop up and the replacement cell you simply start from this side it slips under and then if you just push down that little golden colored clip keeps it neatly in place and that is really all there is to it my switches are still in place so I gently fold the cover back over make sure that that is all in place and replace the screws with the back screwed on just make sure that the switches are tightened up don't need to overdo them just make sure that you don't lose the nuts now when we switch on welcome to open tx throttle warning throttle disabled no mention now of the rtc battery error again then long press the menu 
and page across this time to the radio setup and we can see the year here and secondly the time exit out of that and now we can see our time correct on the display there all is good a job well done